Okay, this is just an update on my uh, basement home aquaponics system. There's the 55 gallon drum that uh, I made up. I cut the top off, did a little fish design in it to give it a little look. Um, like I said before in the first video, there's my bluegill and they seem to be doing really good right now. Um, they're going through their bacteria cycle and uh, everything seems to be working out. It was really kind of smelly at first. I got a bag down here that I put some charcoal in there to kind of take the uh, ammonia out. The ammonia really started to become overpowering. I've actually got, I guess, about 25 gallons of water in there right now. It seems to be doing good. I had it all the way up to the top before. And to be honest with you, I, I don't think it really made a big difference by having the water level so high. Um, you know, all it did was it uh, made more water for me to have to change out uh, when the, the water kind of got fouled. Uh, I had some questions about what I was going to do media wise in my net baskets and as you can see I've got the um, most people call it hydrogen it's actually called LECA which is uh, fired clay pebbles expanded clay pebbles some people call that too the plants in here right now I've got a series of romaine um, just to try it out see how it's working out seems to be okay the lights are on I guess about 15 hours uh, you know, the evening when the uh, basement light goes down from the windows. Funny story back here, these plants back here that you see, I thought they were actually um, spinach uh, from our garden. We started our garden out here in, in Delaware and uh, my wife, uh, unbeknownst to me, planted some radishes. So I've got radishes growing in there now. <laughs> so we'll have to see how that works out. Now, a couple things I found out. Uh, the bluegill were kind of a pain to get to eat anything because they were, you know, net caught out in the wild. I bought some um, uh, food from Tractor Supply for like uh, catfish and, and bluegill in pellet form, but they didn't take to that. That's what actually ran my ammonia up in here because it ended up um, that they, uh, you know, the, the food was, was uh, breaking down and uh, they weren't eating it. Now what I've found is krill, freeze-dried krill. They seem to love this. I've got them going on that now. We'll see if any of them come up and uh, whether they're gonna make a liar of them. Uh, the little babies came up and there goes the big boy tearing it up. So as you can see, if anybody's having any problems, go to your store, your pet store. Let me see if I can get this in the light here. This is just by Top Fin. And uh, let's see, get it in here in the light a little bit better. It's called Large Freeze Dried Medley and it's got uh, red shrimp, krill, and mice's shrimp. And they seem to be tearing that up. Now I'm trying the soldier fly experiment outside, but here in Delaware, I'm not so sure that that's going to work right now. Uh, it's a little too cold for them, but uh, I'll do an update as that, uh, that happens. This is a small video. Um, you know, let me know what you guys think. Thanks a lot.